Well, don't speak up all at once. Hi. <laughs> hey. Just be creepy while you're at it, you know. <laughs> hey. What's going on? What the what? fuck you been? You know, here and there. Yeah, that word I'm not allowed to call you. Where? <laughs> you know, lifing and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Life and strifing. All that good <laughs> shit. Both of those things, actually. Yeah, no uh, shit. You got it. Quick. Quick question, Rob. How, how do I sound? How do I sound? Better than I expected. Yeah, because I actually have to thank my past self. I actually brought the thing with me. The oh, the adapter? For the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I past I Jared it. isn't always a cocksucker. I know. Only when hmm. he sucks cock. That dick. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, I'm in an empty apartment. Also, I have more cocaine in my car. Awesome. No. <laughs> I, can't t- <laughs> I can never touch that stuff again. I will not allow myself. <laughs> yes, don't. Of, I like it way too much. <laughs> <laughs> way too much. At least you know. Oh, you're damn right I know. It took me fucking a week and a half locking myself in a room to even kind of come out alive without crawling back to the fucking dude. Anyways, Dude. <laughs> that, was a lot, that was a rough detox. Yeah, sounds that way. <laughs> My room was clean, and then it was destroyed, and then it was clean, and then it was destroyed, and it went on like that. And then the second day happened. <laughs> <laughs> Grant was worried. <sighs> Can I get you something to eat? I don't want anything to fucking eat! <laughs> Sounds like a time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a time. It was 2002. <laughs> but how are we now, folks? It's been a while. Uh, pff, working. Yeah. Trying to get uh, ready for these kids to get here. Playing mm. Minecraft. As I told Rob uh, a couple of minutes ago, I am broke as shit. Mm. Because he's a new employee with the place he's worked with for over a decade. Damn oh, right. y- Oh, <laughs> see, I was gonna ask you about that the other day during during the Monday Wednesday thing. Yeah, I Which I noticed still that not you going were... on YouTube for the fucking record. I'm sorry. Oops. <laughs> but yeah, I was gonna ask you about that because it sounded like you were doing a different job, but working still kind of sort yeah. of in the same place. Yes. Oh, uh, so you just shifted, and so now you have to wait for the checks to restart, kind yep. of situation, the payroll yep. to kick in. Uh-huh. Well, that fucking sucks. Yep, don't get paid till the night. Meanwhile, I've got to be stuck in my car. Fucking mm. bureaucracy. Okay. I know. <laughs> you know, when I so first started... So that's why working, you're stuck in Jersey, because you don't have gas money to go back and forth. I don't have enough gas money to go back and forth. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that's the worst kind of stuck, really. Yeah, so I'm kind of taking uh, overtime hours stuff because... Like, I really need the money, but But even though I really need the money. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you don't not need the money. I don't not need the money, but it's (laughs) giving me a good excuse to sleep in my car. (laughs) Isn't that the thing about money? (laughs) Yeah, I know, right? Uh, Erica, what would you say? Um, I don't know. (laughs) Uh, You was going to ask me something about the... Oh, yeah, no, I was curious about that whole job thing. No, oh, what I was saying was that when I... I've been working in the same place for 17 years... And well, almost 17 years. And when I started, when I shifted from one position to another one, mm-hmm. it took them three months to pay me. Ooh, oh, dear God. God. No. Three fucking months, bro. <laughs> you know, and to... I'd be having a fucking sit in at the, at the fucking HR department. Yeah, I don't know how you did it because after week one, I was already ready to tear ass. Hold up. But then at, even. Oh, after so that's how you're going to make that gas money. Uh-huh. <laughs> Once I did get paid, uh-huh. taxes, yeah, t- oh, sent sure. me over three months in worth of such pay a way. in one shot. Yeah, man. In such a way. That, you I was might as well have drawn destroyed. out your 401k you got raped so hard. I was destroyed. I was fucking destroyed. It was three months of, of, of pay at one time, and they destroyed me. Oh, I basically got paid one month. Right. You got paid sixteen thousand dollars this month. I mean, I mean, six thousand dollars this month. One. Yeah, that means. That Ugh. means. 
That means technically for two months you was working for free. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Ooh. See, that's Ooh. why uh, when we get a fucking uh, bonus check, it's on a separate check. Mm. So at least it's not tacked in with our pay. Ooh, yeah, I'm no, gonna... not for us. We we didn't get a bonus check. We never get a bonus when you don't get a bonus when you work for the city here. Well, no. But, Hell no. Hell but, no. But, because the city doesn't draw in profits, right? But, right? 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 But there was there was a, a um, union, you know, one of those union yeah. things that happened. They re they re redid the contract, yeah. and they sent us a little piece of shit uh, signing bonus. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, it, it, the people thought it was gonna be one number. It was not that number when we got it. <laughs> oh, it was so not that number, and so many people had already spent it. <laughs> oh, you, you know, like that. they you spent it that. before you we got don't it. Do that. Shit, I, I did it. And people were laughing at me. <laughs> people were laughing at me because they were out there spending, spending, spending. And I was like, y'all crazy. I've worked in this city long enough to know that I'm not going to spend it till I have it yep. in my hand. Yep. And when I saw that shit, I started laughing. Ooh, did I laugh my ass off. It, that's how you hide the tears. Yeah. <laughs> My my laughs was real salty. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. That was some real resentful laughing. <laughs> Whole lot of fuck you mixed up in those ha ha's. <laughs> Be wilding out. So oh, yeah, man. Places I need to start the stream. They're ready. Oh, we're going. Hey, fuck you! Hey. You don't give me any warning. I'm just gonna start it whenever I feel like it. Eat me. Cool. Hey. <laughs> Uh, uh, anything else? Look, we just started. What do you mean, anything no, no. else? <laughs> anything else for the pre-talk? There is no pre-talk. We're on Skype. This, we was pre-talking. We was already pre-talking. We've been pre-talking. <laughs> Where you been at, Rob? Every talk that has happened before today <laughs> is a pre-talk. Yeah, before I even say, you know, the thing I say when we start to shoe, is pre-talk. Yeah. Well, what is the thing you say? Hello, yeah, everybody. Welcome to this episode of the Quote Unquote Shoot episode <laughs> <laughs> one. 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 Come on, you can do it. No, that's you the best phrase. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> you can find the chat. <laughs> chat one. Because you can't remember. One fourteen. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Wrong. Yeah, it's it it's, Wrong. It's one fifteen. It's one fifteen. It's one fifteen. <laughs> I was waiting. I was just waiting. I knew that. I knew that was coming. Shit, I knew that. I just want to see if you knew that. <laughs> uh, I don't know the episode title. We don't have uh, one yet. <laughs> That's why it's still one fourteen. <laughs> 114, we're broke as shit. 115, we're broke as shit. 114 uh, was that's one sick pepper, yo. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, the best thing about the quote of course you are the people on it with me tonight uh, Rob Shutan can't hear you through the clouds man what are you talking about <laughs> you okay Wait, what just think about all it right. no alright anyway no you know what no I refuse to think about it and also <laughs> uh <laughs> Erica Lil Funyuns. Hey. Hey, we got her back for the first time. <laughs> a former like, member has, uh, you know, graced us with her presence. <laughs> Tis Hello. been a while. Welcome to season three. You know what? No. You know what? You right? No. Season four. Season four. I <laughs> I'm here for the premiere episode of season four. That means you missed all of season three, Erica. I did. And some of Ten, season two, season I think. Two. <laughs> I got it most of season two. Yeah, season four. Our season four premiere. Fuck <laughs> uh, it, season five. <laughs> Four's an unlucky number, so let's go with season five. <laughs> All right, you know what? Fuck it, season five. <laughs> right, season That's the four, episode man. title. 115, welcome to season five. Uh, season four was a good season. It was. We <laughs> laughed. And that was <laughs> literally it. It was, it was 10 <laughs> seconds. Hey, go out on a high note. <laughs> Season 4 was 10 seconds. So, uh, you know what? 
before we go into any stories that uh, Rob has sent me during the week, there's one story in particular that I want to talk about first that kind of comes close to home for me, or close to former home. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, that's, that's, that's not the one. Is Mac going to join us? Is he? He said he might. Yeah, he might. He needs might. <laughs> He's missed season four, so. <laughs> Shame. All these people, man. And they claim to be shoe, shoe heads. Don't you dare. Shoe heads. Missed the whole fourth season. Yeah, but you missed the whole third season with multiple fucking episodes. These <laughs> fucking people. <laughs> season, season four had its moments. Tw- no, season four them. was a moment. <laughs> no, it was about 12, 12 moments. It had its moments. Yeah, it had many moments. A like, moment was uh, had. Things happen. Like, um... Ooh, this God, week's art should have something to do with a carnival barker. Carnival barker? One of those dudes. Step right up. Season five over here. You won't believe nah. what you're here. <laughs> You Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? <laughs> <laughs> Sweeney Todd reference for all you non-Sweeney uh, Todd lovers. Uh, yeah, my daughter funny. went dressed as that for Halloween one year, and she's like, you haven't seen it? No. Oh, no. God. You gotta see it. It's awesome. I'm sure. I should. You should. <laughs> I don't get into that kind of <laughs> outlandish shit. Uh, that's not why outlandish. Do I keep going to... It's awesome, landish. Why do I keep going to the Outlandish. Bathroom? It's like inlandish. It is landish. There we go. I sent it to the wrong group. Fire director in New Jersey has his twentieth. Twentieth. Car accident. Car accident. Jesus. Well, that's, that's 20 <laughs> too many. <laughs> and I remember, I remember his 19th, because his 19th was, uh, <laughs> that that kind of made the news. So, Ooh, uh, and your children. Yeah, so my former town, uh, New Brunswick fire director, uh, I think this was a couple years ago. Yeah, this was a few years ago. Uh, he got into a car accident where that involved him hitting a couple of children. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> so that you would think. So you would. So you would think the guy <laughs> who had who hit a couple who hit a couple children would no longer be the fire director, right? Right. Right. Nah. <laughs> So the so he kept his job. Apparently, he passed uh, driver's ed or a defensive driving course like three months ago. Well, so did you. Yeah, so did I. So <laughs> what does that say for defensive driving courses? <laughs> yeah. yeah it says they're me. bullshit. They're money oh, grabs. Oh, yes. Yelp. Oh, that shit was so bullshit. So, yeah. <laughs> because so, I happen to know you can't fucking drive. <laughs> no, I could drive now. No. Bullshit! You <laughs> were that, too old when I met the you last year? for the time to, between the time that I rode with you to have changed your driving style. I have a certificate now. <laughs> it's like the city I had me tested. I also have a printer. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he, he so except for getting fired, they threw him into a the first driving course, like a couple months ago. They need to throw him into a te- crash, uh, crash test car. And they decided, hey, obviously uh, he's a better dummy than the ones they're using. He held up really well. <laughs> well, you, you, you did this. You, you, you good. So I uh, drive a car again, and apparently he got into another accident. Yeah. Now, now yeah. the accident isn't as Dramatic. Is it like dramatic? I would hope not. What, his did he run side, over four kids this time. 
His side of the story is the guy was merging into his lane and hit his car. This guy doesn't get a side of the story. Right. right. Okay? This is number 20. <laughs> he lost the ability to get a side of the story after, like, accident number three. <laughs> 15, 15 accidents ago, you lost that. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, yeah. like, dude, just shut the fuck up. Here's a bus pass, bro. Why are you they fire stop. director? <laughs> no, but I, this well, is funny. Hey, at least he isn't in charge of, you know, the DOT. Department of Transportation. Anybody? Uh, <laughs> I was like, what, what dots is he responsible for? <laughs> sure, the no. spots of children he leaves on the road. <laughs> No, but it's just funny the way under in in the article under the video of it the way it it phrases things here is just hilarious to me for some reason I don't know New Brunswick Fire Director Robert Rawls has quite the driving record does he though <laughs> <laughs> News Four has reported that he has been in nineteen accidents and had eighteen license suspensions over the years <laughs> eighteen of them eighteen of them he was barred from driving Christ. city vehicles after an incident. After an accident, injured children. Recently, he was allowed to drive them again. Then accident 20. Then came accident 20. It's like, <laughs> seriously? Did, okay, so first of all, there's a few things wrong with this, okay? First of all, still fire director, not former fire director, right? So that's, that's the first place you start. Then it says that his license is suspended. I see them not firing him because... That's not exactly a job requirement. Um, it it shows a, fire truck. a huge lack of responsibility. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but that's not... Uh... It's like, okay, if... Uh, this I'm just is, saying now, I this see is why be... they didn't want to fire him for it. Because that's kind of, you know, that... Yeah. No, no, no. No, he can, he no, no, no. Ride on wait, a fire I, truck. 19, wait, 18 accidents ago, maybe... <laughs> yeah, you know what? <laughs> Maybe I can see that. <laughs> but, but that's the thing. Like they've suspended his license eighteen times. Eighteen. But How he was he only get back. He was only barred from driving city vehicles. After that, so he could still drive. Drive. <laughs> so oh, you yeah, just sure. ain't driving under my name, but you could still drive. <laughs> You're not on my insurance. Oh <laughs> my god! Like seriously. <laughs> And that he was allowed to drive them again. And then, uh, now here's the thing. Uh, the city kind of denied this, said that it was already already planned. But after he hit those kids, uh, except for firing him or, you know, doing anything else, they decided to change the uh, how the roads are. So it so that place where he those kids got hit, except for it being a four car lane, it became a two car lane. Oh, yeah, awesome! Right? <laughs> These people are fucking insane. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's fucking Jersey for you. Yeah. <laughs> that I got out. All right. As he For sits now. in New Jersey. <laughs> As I'm technically stuck in the somebody, somebody overhears his conversation and says, Man, fuck him. I'll go fuck him up. Somebody probably is, is siphoning the gas out of your car right now, what you got left, and is like, Bitch, you thought you was leaving. <laughs> you ain't never yeah. leaving New Jersey. Nobody ever leaves Jersey. Nobody ever leaves Jersey. <laughs> So yeah, this dude got hit. This dude, oh, oh, this dude's, and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure nothing's gonna happen. Of course not. Yeah, well, I mean, it hasn't happened eighteen other times. He's got that shield. That shield that pays the bills. That is unfortunately accurate. I'm Can't. sad now. I can't understand that. I just, I can't fit it in my head. This is insanity. If it was anybody else, they'd be in prison. Yeah. Yup. Forget oh. about discussing fired or not. 
speak, oh, speaking of bullshit, you heard that story today about the dude who went to jail after being found after being found not guilty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No. The one where he um he had he they they I don't know it was like parole or something that he did for or not parole. What do they call that when they leave you out and you Probation. just got to Yeah. Yeah, they gave him like three years probation, which was done with already. Almost, it was almost done. Yeah, for like a, another crime, a different thing. Right, and yep. then uh, yeah, so like years back, uh, he stole a TV, stole like a hundred and fifty dollar TV. Okay. Uh, got caught, was sent on probation to uh, for for the crime. Uh, some lady. Somewhere else got robbed like earlier last year. She got her convenience store got robbed. She wasn't able to identify the subject. And then one day this bitch uh yes. saw saw him saw his Facebook profile. And apparently something triggered in her and she's like, That gotta be the guy who's robbed us. So they put a warrant oh, out for incontrovertible us. evidence, obviously. So mm-hmm. a warrant obviously. was put a warrant was put out for his arrest. The dude saw that there was a warrant out for his arrest. He goes to to uh, turn himself in, and when he went to turn himself in, they arrested him. Blah blah blah. Uh, there was going to be he was going to plead guilty, and it was going to be some kind of plea where if he pleaded guilty. He was just going to get like a lighter sentence. Because that's like, what but, the fuck happens. That's how the system fucking works. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. The judge, the judge denied that plea. He denied that plea and decided, all right, you're going to go to court for this. You're going to get, there's going to be a jury and everything. Goes to court. It has the whole court system process and shit like that. The jury decide, decided that he was not guilty of this crime because there wasn't a, uh, because <laughs> shocking there wasn't enough evidence. You don't say. Her <laughs> random spotting on Facebook didn't seal that. Right. So. So the judge, I this hate fuck, fucking species this, so bad. This I fuck fucking time, hate us. I, I want fuck, you guys to know that <laughs> on a truly this, personal level, I genuinely hate every one of you for you know simply being human. So this fucktard, <laughs> this fucktard of the judge, who already did not, who already caused this circus to happen, decided, you know what? Oh fuck all this. We're gonna put you back in jail due to the probation for a violation of parole. So. Uh, How so did he violate? It was, so in session of for having the, a court appearance, that's a violation. So in session of the parole that he's already counted, he was going to he's going to be in jail for about six more years. He's going to come out in twenty twenty two. Jesus hmm. fucking Christ! Which no, here's the fucked up part. Here's the more fucked up part, as we alluded like, to oh, earlier. Wait. There's more. There should be. Be. But me and Erica alluded to more. If all of this didn't happen, his parole would have been done next month. Of course. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Of course. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. criminal justice system. And that's what I woke up to. You can to. call it that if you want to. <laughs> that's what I woke up to this morning. I woke up to that news story, so I was pissed. I was heated. Yeah. The whole day. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's that somebody shitting your cereal kind of situation. Word. It is what like nothing that, about it. There's nothing you can do about that shit. I would definitely be seeking an appeal with a different judge. Yeah, somebody tagged Quincy. <laughs> it's like yeah. I think I think it was Matt, I think. He's like, fix this Quincy. <laughs> and yeah, Quincy I would definitely said, be filing an appeal immediately. An appeal would fix this. Uh, could. I mean, could. maybe. You get another maybe. cocksucker like that one, Man, I'm pretty shit sure could get about way worse. How this story goes, that had to be that judge's TV. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? And it, it, it had to be, like, the day of the Super Bowl. Right? Because, <laughs> seriously. 
Because that judge was out for The kid him. stole the TV from a random bar that happened to be this judge's bar. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck, this, fuck this dude, yeah. And they're all like, do you want Super Bowl food and the Super Bowl on the radio? Or do you want me to go buy a fucking TV for the bar? Oh. So he had to listen to the Super Bowl. Radio. Uh, do we got any good news? Need some good news. I don't know. Look through the chat. Fuck. So, good news. Uh... What has happened? And, but to... now look at me. Look at how ir- angry I am with absolutely no correlating information. I have. I'm sure it's true, but I have nothing but your word to go on, and I'm mad. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what's good? Oh, oh, let's talk about that white supremacist. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's talk about good news. Let's talk about that white no, no, supremacist. No, no, no. That's not yeah. good news, though. Yep, that's yep, a yep. hateful fuck doing some hateful shit. What did this white what? supremacist do? All right, so... Um, that's worthy of a mention. All right, so this white supremacist uh, converted to Islam... <laughs> Wait, it gets better. <laughs> and then, and then decided to kill his white supremacist roommates because they, you know, were because talking shit made, about Islam. Shockingly enough, <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're gonna do some shit like that, you need to get a Yo. fuck away from those people because Yo. obviously they're poison to begin with. Let's just start there, but. But, dude, dudes. Seriously, what the fuck did he expect? What was plan A? It was was like, but it's like, it's, there's so, there's so much mixed, mixed emotions here right now. This is a reverse (laughs) Bigsby. Like, what the fuck? (laughs) Because, right, because, like, look, okay, all right, all right, Okay, hold on. He's not like the Okay, okay, okay. All right, hold on, hold on. Because, all right, look, all right, first off. (laughs) I'm glad uh, we got. We're gonna to have to break this down. We're gonna to have Let's to break this down. down. All right, look. I'm glad that this white supremacist found Islam. <laughs> sure, I guess that's good. That's to great. your own. <laughs> like cool, cool. Like I'm you, glad. Man? I'm glad you found religion and not um, hate. And AK-47. But then <laughs> you then killed. You and then you the killed hate back into it. And then you kill somebody giving Islam a bad name now. Like, come on, dude. Come on, this is like tough time for is- Islamic people. Come on, brother. Brother, well, you can't, wow. brother, you can't be doing this. This guy is like the ultimate everything that he right. does is right <laughs> kind of situation. Yep. He's a supremacy supremacist. Yeah, like you give, a, you give <laughs> My Islam group a bad is name. the best. Because you killed somebody. Come on, man. We don't need this right now. But then... yeah, like, yeah, we, we don't just go around killing people. That's not a thing people do. Just, no, you, come on. It, it doesn't matter if they're white supremacists. That sucks. But but, but he's well, listen, I'm, I'm, not, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shed a tear or or right, even right, right. speak over white supremacists dying. But you Whoopsie still can't kill people. people. But it's it's. Uh, uh, <laughs> You don't just go around killing people. That's the moral of this story. Yeah, don't kill people. <laughs> killing people is not cool. I'm not gonna say that you pick the wrong people, but like, I mean, like, but if you're gonna kill people, it I happen guess. to a nice group of guys. <laughs> it's like, it's like, should I give you a thumbs up? I don't know. <laughs> oh, this I'll is give you a crazy. thumbs up behind my back where you can't see it. Because like, <laughs> I don't want to condone anything about you. Was that Zach Efron gift where he's just like, oh, what? Oh, no. <laughs> just that first sentence that you said just cracked me up for some reason. Like, <laughs> yeah, white supremacist to converts to Islam. He was, <laughs> he was still living with other white supremacists and yeah. thought that was yeah. going to go well. Yeah, he's obviously work. retarded. That doesn't work, man. <laughs> this man is obviously you... mentally ill. Like the moment For you start multiple eating, reasons. The moment you started eating bean pies, brother, you got to go, man. <laughs> he cut out pork and started eating bean pies, and it was over. It's done. You you got to move. Like, look, look. I know, I know, I know. It was taunting Bernie, him with bacon. That's what happened. Look, look. I know, Bernie. 
I know burning costs is a good thing to do on a Friday, but I got to go there. There's better <laughs> ways to roast marshmallows. <laughs> and marshmallow uh, has pork in it. Doesn't well, it? to be fair, so does C4. <gasps> so, come on, Rob. He was just mad that he couldn't eat s'mores. That's what happened. <laughs> and s'mores, s'mores have swine. And they do. Uh, you know what? Okay, we gotta go with the uh, two school-related stories. Okay, this. Okay, we're talking about the teacher first, right? Yeah, we're gonna talk about the teacher. teacher. Okay. Yeah. This <laughs> yeah. Pisses me off in a very deep way, and I don't know why. Okay. But this teacher recently divorced. She's what twenty-seven, I think it said. Okay. And she had know. sex with an eighteen-year-old student. The pretty girl? She looked all right. She, she, she looked I all guess, right. you know, it's, it's subjective. I get He's that, 18. but no. Uh, no, no. I can see it being a faculty matter. I can see her getting fired. You know, I can see all that. But it's not a criminal matter. He is over the age of 18. I don't give a fuck if it was her student. It's not criminal. So no, the not. kid was 18? Yes. And she was 27? Right. He's 18 yeah. in middle school? No, high school. Oh. But oh, well, I, I mean, if he was 18, then it's just unethical. Yeah, yeah it's, it's unethical. unethical. She should get fired. Yeah, she, she got arrested. Yeah, she shouldn't be arrested. That's mm-hmm. what pisses me off. That is a misuse of everything. It's not mm-hmm. illegal for her to fuck him. It's incredibly wrong to fuck him. Yeah, it's wrong as shit. But it's not fucking illegal. Not but illegal. still... She's sitting in jail right now over something that's not a fucking crime. And this is coming from somebody who got probation over a book in a country with freedom of speech. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, bitch. Now, that sounds crazy. Like, there, there has to be more to that story. I mean, how did... He's wait, 18. Wait, she, wait, they're those... both adults both consenting adults yep. i mean unless she started the affair when he was younger no nope. yeah that's what i that's my only thinking is they probably no they're probably arresting her saying that like look you, you probably Even was still, fucking you up. need evidence of that bef- you know how like, do you get a fucking like, warrant without look, goddamn evidence look, it's because look. a piece of shit judges Look, we just yes. talked about us. We just had a story about this dude who I got know. arrested <laughs> because somebody saw him in his Facebook. On Facebook, <laughs> Facebook. and that's condemning evidence. Fuck dude. you. If I could scroll up and down Facebook and be like, "Oh, that's the guy that robbed me twenty years ago," <laughs> right? Like, how is that a thing? How is this a thing? Yeah. One of the biggest. Yeah, we got a problem with fucking cocksucker cops, but we also have a problem with fucking not requiring evidence judges. Well, I mean, there's the whole guilty before proven guilty situation. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a thing. Without one shred of fucking evidence. Hmm. What? Not one. <sighs> not a one. You're so on what? probation. You're obviously a criminal. But only criminals get probation. They don't. Nobody pl- would cop a plea deal to avoid jail time that would seriously damage their life, as opposed to taking probation and co- pleading guilty to something they didn't do. Surely that would never happen. <laughs> that definitely hasn't happened ten times today. Case closed. Nope. Nope. Not ten or twenty. <sighs> yep. Indeed. And prosecutors are happy because they get their wins. Yeah. Because of well, fucking numbers because we gotta feed a goddamn corporate prison system. We really do need a happy fucking story because this shit is bumming me the fuck out. It's bro. because it's all true! <laughs> well, I know, so- I know. Well, I'm sorry, but this next story is not gonna be any help. Oh my god, what is it? What's the next fucking story, bro? Oh, season five is downer. <laughs> you saw yeah. this? Yeah. You, saw this. you see this shit? I no, I haven't this. seen this. Oh, I saw that. You saw it, but did you seen it? Oh, did you seen it? God. There's no I fucking did. difference between those two words to me, so. 
<laughs> that is horse shit. Yeah, I saw that. The, oh, it's a funny joke. Fuck you. Fuck you, that is not a joke. But what are you poking fun at? Right. Exactly. How is, it? How is that a joke? Right, 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 right. right. For the people at home. <laughs> right. Uh, the, story, the story is in Texas, a 13-year-old girl was giving was given a award called the most likely to become a terrorist. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, wait, look, look, all right, first off, no. Second of all, no why? again. <laughs> no again. Again, Third, what was plan why? A here? <laughs> right? What the fuck like, was plan A? What could you have possibly have hoped for this to accomplish? Like at some point, like before Did you just that, want to see her cry? At some point, the teacher must have been thinking, "Oh my god, this is going to be the funniest shit in the world. Everybody's going to have a they, everybody's going to be laughing, and then they're going to start cheering my name, and they're going to like pick me up, and they're going to pull me out of this thing because I call this thirteen-year-old a terrorist." The thing is, it's like it's not even. You know how when you make sort of an off-the-cuff joke or whatever, and, you know, if you had a certificate and you just filled in at the last minute some right. stupid that you thought would yeah. be funny, no, this shit was planned. It's fucking typed and printed out yeah. on color. You had, <laughs> color. This, you had like, time to think about this. You know, this she shit had, was she, thought out. There was, you had the, a the, plan. There, had, there was, it was a bad plan, you dumb fucking bastard but so there was no pause about this like she didn't look at this and say "Uh, maybe that's a little tasteless just a little bit no no No. she called out this little girl's name and was like most likely to become a terrorist ha 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 he 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 stop crying please please dear god i hope nobody else was laughing i hope she said that i know this it depends on what it's the seventh text. grade, man. So seventh grade kids don't exactly have tact. Check out the other two other awards that they mentioned. Most likely to cry for every little thing, oh, and most likely, fox. most likely to become homeless. Yo, fuck these people. <laughs> like, dead fuck ass. you. A message no, from the quote teacher- unquote you. The views of fuck you are support, supported by the quote unquote you and its affiliates. Yo, that teacher must have not given a fuck. She's just looking for attention, Yo. man. Instead of being a stripper, she called the kid a terrorist. This teacher gets bullied by her parents at home. No shit. Right? Because no shit. there's no other reason why she would come to school. This was probably her dad's plan. You know. Wait, wait this was planned out by teachers. Oh, I don't know. There was at least one. Uh, To the teachers, it's all in good fun, but... Oh, God. This is not cool. Fuck you, people. Fuck you. We need another good story. We need a good one. Satirical awards ceremony. Have you guys talked about romp hymns yet? I don't know. Fuck about that dumb shit. (laughs) No, we have not. So, moving on. You should. No, 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 no. Let's talk about it. Erica, what's your thoughts? I mean, I think they're sexy as fuck, and every guy should wear one. Do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I punch. Yo, if my husband walked out with one of those things, I'd probably punch him. And I'm not necessarily a person who polices what people wear, because right. I, I don't really care. But something about this little outfit annoys you. Just the hell out you. of me. Yeah, pretty much. Like, that is I know, so stupid. I, I know. The worst one I saw was a picture of a woman's hands with manicured nails covered in used engine oil. And it says, her hands look like this, so my robbers can look like this. I'm like, yeah. fuck you. Oh, but well, wait a second. The memes that came out over the la- the next two days after the whole romper situation was revealed... The memes that came out killed me. Oh my god. I yeah. was laughing for three days straight. It's, they uh, were just too much. I, look, personally, I don't I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Wear what you want to. I'm not going to yeah. fuck you because of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't care. <laughs> Least but, likely to get laid. Hand out that award at the bar. 
if you if you want to wear it, if you want to wear them, go ahead and wear them. I'm not gonna make fun of you, but if you ask me, this is stupid. I don't. Really I will. I, I will mean, make fun of you. <laughs> I, I, I will. The only reason why I won't Consider make fun of you, I won't make fun of you because I don't care about the. I don't care about it enough to. It just looks but, stupid. Also, oh my God! Speaking of looking stupid, sure. I was driving down the street here in Milwaukee, and okay. something caught my eye going down the sidewalk. They give it back. It was a dude walking like he had just spent three days on a horse, and with reflective pants. And I was like, what the fuck? And I looked it up online. They're like 600 bucks, or maybe it was more than that. And they're made out of stainless steel thread. What? Yeah, let me find this. Yes, please do, because I'm having a really hard time trying to understand what these pants look like. They look like jeans, but made with stainless steel. Hmm. Still, now that I can picture it, I don't think that I'm picturing the right thing. Cause yeah, and this dude was walking because it like they like glisten. Well, it's stainless steel. Yeah. But it, it it just looked like he couldn't walk. He was walking like a fucking robot. I mean, people have a hard time walking in fucking um, corduroys. Imagine <laughs> stainless steel. They're not like metal. But they look like jeans, but they're reflective. But and it looked still. like he couldn't bend his legs, and other people said that online when I looked into it that they were hard to walk in. I was and like, so, why? do they why serve a purpose? Like, so much? no. Like, just, do, do they absorb sun and power his? They phone? make you more likely to get struck by <laughs> lightning. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> it's in oh. the chat. I really, really don't understand. Yeah, it was just. I couldn't understand why these jeans look so fucking weird. So I typed in glittery jeans, and after I got past bedazzled, I saw something that said stainless steel. And then I looked at it, and son of a bitch, if that ain't what I saw. This, this, this is weird. It is weird. Because why? Why would you spend so much money on something so odd that makes it harder to walk? Yeah, you're supposed to wear jeans on Everybody that wears high heels. Oh, they're salvage jeans. <sighs> salvage jeans? Wait. Wait, what? I don't know. Listen, it's this thing that is supposed to be, like, super awesome in the jeans. Hipster. When you get... Hold on. Let me see if I can find <laughs> it here. It's a hipster thing. I learned a lot. <laughs> I went down a rabbit hole on these jeans. It just tripped me out. Did you? It just tripped me out because it was just the weirdest effect. I will give him that. You got to be seen to get noticed. And I saw him. And there's just something about the way it looked that just caught my eye and captured my OCD that I had to know what the fuck was going on with those pants. Hmm. What's going on with those pants? So this is what salvage denim is. The word salvage relates to the self-edge of fabric. Salvage is woven so fabric's edge can be used in garment construction. In regards to jean construction, using the outer edge of the denim, the self-edge, makes a jean a salvage denim jean. Oh, so it's unevenly dyed and, yeah, it looks so, distressed. As opposed basically to, you know, like when you wearing jeans and letting them wear out. It's like the sewing when you, when you, um... When you cuff the bottom. Right. So the way normal jeans look is like bulky and it has the double sewn piece there. But a, a salvage jean would have a nice looking kind of cuff. Right. Yeah. So like that's the popular thing to do now. God, I hate hipsters. <laughs> Because I know every time I see the fucking word salvage next to jeans, I know it's going to be expensive. All right. Ridiculous. For a different t type of cuff. Yep. I can, I can make you four different types of cuff. I have a sewing machine. That doesn't make it worth 600 fucking dollars. <laughs> this is ridiculous. 
Before I would spend $600 on a pair of pants, I would get the design of a pair of pants and make them. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> Even still. I have literally made clothing before because I saw this blue fabric that was just absolutely amazing and I had to it have, was it, into a, I had to have it into a dress shirt. No, it was this really odd, almost satin, but the way that it caught the light was just fucking astounding. I had to have it as a dress shirt. I had to make that goddamn collar like 10 fucking times. I almost ran out of fabric. <laughs> Sanity. My sewing machine I don't even have that up. shirt anymore now that I think about it. I spent so much time making that fucking thing. I wish. I, I'm going to fix my sewing machine and get back into that. That's a good crafty thing. Yeah. You can do mm, interesting you know. things with it. Sewing yeah. chief among them. I'm sorry, sewing what? Chief among them. Oh, I thought you said sewing teeth. Like, how would you do that? You know how hard it is to get through denim? My my old <laughs> boss is sewing machine. I used to work at a marina in uh, Syracuse. Well, outside of Syracuse. Um, and I worked for the dude that made canvas boat tops. Mm. And he had a sewing machine, like a World War II era vintage sewing machine. And it was hooked to a V-twin Harley engine outside of the trailer. Mm -hmm. It had a Harley Davidson engine to drive this sewing machine. Wow. It was badass. That, well, thing, that, thing, <laughs> that thing would sew through six fucking layers of industrial, super, the best canvas on earth. Mm-mm-mm. You put a Harley through it. Put a Harley engine on anything and it just suddenly becomes badass. Hmm. I was just thinking about this today. Um we used to have uh, tape measure races because there it was in a mobile trailer so that we could go to different marinas and do repair work. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day we'd both grab a tape measure off the rack, pull it down to the end of the table in the trailer, and let them go and whoever lost bought the beer. <laughs> <laughs> they were tape measure races. It this was sounds cool. like the most. <laughs> <laughs> we had fun. You you it, know it you make job. Fun. You make fun happen. It was a good job, but um, one night he decided to get clever, and he like I don't know what he did to it, but he souped up the spring on a tape measure. Mm. Thought he had it licked. Well, he had it licked all right. That fucking thing cooked down the fucking table at like. Mach 1. <laughs> and then it jumped off the end of the table and went directly through the wall of his trailer. Fuck. <laughs> he punched a hole in his own fucking trailer. <laughs> With a tape measure. With a tape measure. That thing exploded. Jeez. <laughs> Careful what you wish for, man. Yeah, he won. He won. I bought the beer. <laughs> and then he paid me to patch the hole in his trailer. Win-win, <laughs> I say. Yeah, right? I made my money back. <laughs> And I got a good story out of it. Mm -hmm. It's better to people that work with tools. People that work with tools, tools that story kills. I, I mean, you know, it didn't kill, but it like wounded. Right, right, right. I'll I take it. it. That's a better reaction than I expected when I started talking, if I'm going to be honest. I get it. I, get I thought it. this was going to be one of those, okay, <laughs> tape measures, yay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a tape measure. How the fuck you do that? Though? I have an interesting tape measure story. <laughs> Who has that? Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, I slapped myself with one once. But that's not that's a tape not measure. <laughs> that's a ruler. No. <laughs> oh, you're no, trying to I use mean, it like one... a slap bracelet? No, no, no. You know, those things that come in the little metal square circle thing that you pull back the thing and it rolls back in. Right, right. Yeah, so it was rolling back in, but I, I had taken it out uh, all the way. Yeah, yeah. It was rolling back in, and it started, like, fucking going crazy, going up and down, and you got a getting jumper. pretty wild, and then it just smacked me in the face. Yeah, they do that. I had, like, a check mark across my cheek. Because you need to check yourself. I know, and I wrecked Because you already wrecked yourself. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, see? I have a tape measure story, too. There you go. I Not don't. souped up. Mine's better. Jared, you need a tape measure story. His would involve his dick, and I'm not down with that. <laughs> put put it put it on your bucket list. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll put it on my bucket list. <laughs> do do Jared's we even like, have uh, bucket list? Jared's playing this. I refuse to measure my dick until my skin skin gets saggy. 
<laughs> then I'll find out I got a t uh, you know fourteen incher. <laughs> Y'all retarded! I swear to God. Can 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 we elect Justin <laughs> Thurdo? No. Trudeau. No. It doesn't Trudeau. work that he way. Wasn't born in America. Can but can we can we? We can't adopt him, Jared. That's not how it works. Can we adopt him? Doesn't work that way. Can we can we do that? I mean, nope. he, ha he already has a loving home, Jared. We he's can not, do it. We he's can not do no that. offense. We're Americans. We're Americans. We're Americans. Yeah, we kind of are right now. We kind of are right now. Yeah, man. Uh, Alright, back to sad stories. Of course. <sighs> sad uh, stories without Liz. I know. Aw. Alright, so uh, let's go to the, the realm of celebrities. Uh, ben Stiller and Christina to... Taylor. Who? Uh, ben Stiller. Yeah, that I know. And Who was the wife, other person? His wife, Christine Taylor. Oh. Yeah, they're getting a divorce. Uh, yeah. I don't know who she is, though. Uh, you watch Dodgeball, care. right? Uh huh. No. The, the, you haven't watched Dodgeball? Nope. Alright, anyway, I, I what? Get back to, that movie was I, funny. I get back to you. I get back to you, Rob. Uh, That's homework. Alright, all right, so uh, the main <laughs> woman, the main, the main woman in Dodgeball. Oh, okay. Alright, Rob, have you seen the Brady Bunch movie? <laughs> Why Rob. the fuck would I watch the Brady Bunch movie? <laughs> Because it's I, like, funny I, I could almost hear the face he put on when you because, asked that question. Because actually, it's, it's actually a pretty good movie. It's a really good movie. I watched them go to Hawaii and get cursed, and I, no, and no, I swore no, off no, the Brady no, Bunch. No, 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 here's the thing. Here's the funny thing about the Brady Bunch movie. I right, take the Brady Bunch and then put them in the 90s. Not oh, that, like, yes, I did see that, actually. That You've seen them. You, all right. Uh, I thought you were talking about a recent thing that I didn't no, know no, anything no, about. No, 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 the old, the old Brady Bunch movie. Yeah, where I, the one that was um, Marsha <laughs> played the mom. Yeah, all right. Marsha in that movie? Do you remember I her? I don't remember Do you her. Anything? Uh, Here, I mean, I have a... <laughs> the the internet? <laughs> yes. Yes, I did because I couldn't remember her face. But, oops, that's not the right link. You just got a dick pic. No. <laughs> Why would I be linking you a dick pic? Do you want a dick I don't pic? Know your life. <laughs> hey, let me let me look up. All right, Zoolander. I hate Zoolander. I hate Ben Stiller. I hate Ben Stiller. I fucking despise Ben Stiller. I almost skipped on Tropic Thunder because of Ben Stiller. Same. But you, but you watched Tropic Thunder. If it hadn't been for co-host, I never would have watched it. Uh, Tropic Thunder, she played... Because apparently she was in it. I don't remember her. She played Rebecca. Who the fuck was Rebecca? Anyways, I really don't care about Ben Stiller's marriage. <laughs> <laughs> well, they I were really, married for I 17 years. I honestly could years. not give a fuck less. They were married for 17 years. That's a long time to just call yeah. it quits. But Ben Stiller is Ben Stiller. But to probably. be honest. There's literally two to, movies to, that I like him in, and I love those movies. That's Tropic Mystery Men, Tropic Thunder, and Mystery Men. And that's she's it. Probably, she's probably in Mystery Men. I don't Come think on. I've seen Mystery Men. You haven't? It's I don't really, think so. It doesn't sound It's familiar. the stupidest superhero movie you'll ever watch, and it's amazing. Oh, really? Yeah, they're, uh, one of them's the Blue Raja, and he throws cutlery, spoons, and stuff. <laughs> but none of his costume's blue. Okay. And then okay. there's the, the, the shoveler right, you, or the digger. Right, the fuck you, is his name? You really love Mr. Man. <laughs> I do. That movie is fucking great. You're really selling it, man. It's great. That movie is so fucking hilarious. It's all right. Listen, I, I love you, Slamming you and, Salmon. 
So I probably will like a stupid yeah, it's dumb, it's dumb. This. yeah, it's dumb as shit. You and Rob, you and Matt will really love you you two should really watch Mystery Men because apparently y'all love the shit out of Mystery Men. That movie's amazing. The movie's all right. Okay, it's on the list. <laughs> Cal Mitchell it's really is good. It. Erica, Erica, there's there's, another, oh, movie. there's another movie you need to watch, Erica. I recommended what? this last week. What? Um, uh, Seeking a Friend for the End of the World with um, um, Steve Carell. Well, mm-hmm. It's really, really good. It's on Netflix. Gotcha. Yeah, Rob got Netflix <laughs> while you was gone. Rob and we're going to lose our uh, <laughs> um, SoundCloud premium in two days uh-huh. because I, I transferred that money over to Netflix. Money well spent. <laughs> <laughs> I've been using it. I've been watching a lot of comedy. Dave Chappelle's got a cigarette voice from hell. Yeah, he does. Oh, he's got cigarettes. Wait, you watch that? Wait, wait that. you watch that special? I watch both of them. All right, what do you think of them? Um, that was the first thing I watched on Netflix, so I don't remember specifics because I was wait, a while ago. Okay, all right, time out. All right, let's just set for the record that the first thing Rob did when he bought re- when he Got Netflix has watched two Dave Chappelle specials. I want that on record. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, he's already got a black card, so yeah, ten, ten of them. Ten he of got them. His ten. He got his ten. And he's, got and he's keeping them. There you go. <laughs> no, that I love Dave Chappelle, man. He's fucking hilarious. He sure I is. Just, I just didn't think that would be the first thing you watch. Well, neither <laughs> did I. But on my account, Rob had already let me use his account for like two weeks. Um. See. See. So. See. Uh, the first thing I watched was Mystery Science Theater three thousand. Uh, ah. Yeah, of course. All of it. Oh fucking a! I ripped through that shit like That's it was a, a sweet, wow. sweet, sweet, juicy vagina. <laughs> I I'm ripped right through it. I'm so mad at I you. I tore that. it up. <laughs> oh shit. I still, I still haven't finished it. <laughs> I heart Jonah. I just hope that I see Mike in that season. Do you want me to tell you? Yes. No. Damn it. Because you're getting your hopes up a lot on that. No, he does not show up. What are you talking about? One of the hosts at Mystery Science Theater 3000, the second one. Oh. Okay. The dude who does riff tracks now. Oh. Okay. I figured out what it is about riff tracks I don't care for. What's that? What? They make current jokes that everybody will understand. Oh, how dare they. I like the stupid Midwestern humor of Mystery Science Theater 3000, because most of it I don't understand. I don't know why that seems better to me. Because hmm. it feels That's like just yours. what it's always been. I mean, Because it I've feels been like it's yours. This... Right. We used... <laughs> me and my cousin, Gersh, used to put the marathons on all the time. That it feels more Mystery Science. Without it, it's just not the same even though they got the right time listen the, that show it was so funny because i wanted to watch it so bad uh-huh. and i tried three times and three times i fell asleep oh shit but yeah you, you gotta find your movie you know you gotta, yeah no you gotta watch it during like the afternoon instead of the nighttime um because i know that hazel nuts <laughs> ding <laughs> doesn't, doesn't matter Right. Okay. So anyway, when he's watching it, season he... five now. <laughs> season five, bitches, <laughs> and it all hang out. Yeah. Um, he fucking dies laughing. Yeah. Like yeah. he pisses himself laughing. Yeah. And it's the mystery. I'll be, it's got that magic. I'll yeah. be across the fucking house and the other side of the house, and I hear him. <laughs> I know exactly what he's doing. Yeah. He's fucking watching this show. Yep. And I will come back hours later. Hours later, and he's still in the same fucking spot, still laughing. Yep. Mm-hmm. Only now. I, don't, I, like, I cannot Thanksgiving without Mystery Science Theater Marathon. They started doing that back in the early 90s, and it's never gone away in my house. Wow. I don't, I don't marathon during holidays unless it's like... A, the honeymooners you. You're to and my house. <laughs> the honeymooners and um, Twilight Zone on New Twilight Year's. Twilight Zone, New Year's. Yeah. Yep. 
Yep, that's it. That's the only holiday marathon I do. Uh, uh, can you get oh, a sad Orthodox bu- Star Wars Day was the other day. The what? Star Wars Day? Orthodox. Uh, the, the Orthodox. Uh, I saw, you the know, one May that's the been fourth. celebrated for 40 fucking years. But you now since somebody that, came up with the pun of May the 4th, <laughs> now that's Star Wars Day. Uh, <laughs> day. Uh, uh, yeah, right, so you know May the fourth. Erica. What? You know May the fourth. Yes, that I know. Right. So Arthur Orthodox Star Wars Day is uh twenty the, at- the actual premiere. Yeah, of Star the date Wars. that it's you know, a oh. logical day for it to be the what day that it's been forever. The actual until a day few years ago. <laughs> Yeah, actual day when Star Wars premiered was on the 20th ish. I think it was the 20th. No, it was the 22nd, maybe. Second, I want to say. Anyway, it happened this week. Um, so, so, die hard fans of Star Wars celebrated that salty. day. <laughs> where, where everybody else is just like, hey, May the 4th, that's kind of cute. And we're celebrating today. Right. Well, and I get it. I understand because y'all, you know, the, the people that do the May the 4th aren't diehard. So, whatever. But, but it's still funny. Yeah. I'm, funny. I'm, I'm, the May the 4th thing was cute the first time I heard it. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. But it got old really quick. Yeah, like that second good. year. <laughs> really yeah, fucking that, quick. That second year. That though, first that was... year, I gotta admit, I encouraged it. Yeah, but that's I was all on board that first year. Apparently, it's May twenty fifth. That was yesterday. Oh, thank you. Right, so the, the the reason why that second year went crazy is because that's when Force Awakens happened. No, fuck no. Force <laughs> Awakens was Force Awakens was last year, Jared. Rogue One was last year. Okay, it was twenty fifteen. Yeah, May the fourth has been around since I lived in New York. Yeah, but it didn't start. That was two thousand and ten. But it didn't start. Get, but it didn't start getting big until like a couple years ago. Well, maybe not for you, but <laughs> you didn't see it everywhere until like a couple years ago. I was plugged into it early. It seemed like it was, but that's probably the people I was talking to. That's probably the people <laughs> you were talking to. Hmm. Anyway, but. It, but it didn't get big until a couple of years ago. Wait, wait where, why are we talking about this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even remember. Somebody Fine. mentioned Orthodox Star Wars Day. Oh, bro. oh yeah, yeah. I didn't know what that was. And somebody, and somehow, and we, we were like, yeah, going on. It's step three, profit. Oh, for what? The underpants gnomes. <laughs> Step one, collect underpants. Step two, question mark, question mark, question mark. Step three, profit. I had another story so I could change the subject. Oh, do the plastic surgery one. No, you know what other thing, surgery. what other day got old really quick? What's that? Pie. Pie day. Yeah. Yeah. March 14th. Shut the hey. fuck up about March 14th. Hey, you know oh, what I also hate? I hate? And I uh, like pies. I hate Alien Day. What's Alien Day? Alien Day is, uh... Oh. That's okay, I have an internet. Yeah, Alien Day is... Google's April faster 26th. than you, though, asses. April 26th? Yeah, to celebrate, Universe. uh... Ridley Scott's sequel, Alien, was set. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, they See, this one... This one yeah. didn't have a chance to annoy me because I didn't know about it. See, but that's the thing. It's so fucking corporate. It's corporate made. That's why I don't like it. Like mm. Star Wars Day, Star Wars Day, there were, there was a, it's funny because fans were like, hey, hey, let's for, let them, may the fourth be with you. And uh, Revenge of the Fifth. But this one is like 20th Century Fox. And like, hey, hey, look. Alien Day. We're celebrating Alien Day. Nobody mm, yes. fuck about aliens. 30th Shut. anniversary Shut. of it. Go ahead and celebrate it. Throw a little party. I don't give a fuck. Why are you including me? Nobody gives a fuck about it. it Have any of you seen um, The Covenant? Nope. 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 I'll watch it. 
<laughs> nope. Probably won't. Nope. Probably won't. Nope. I own Prometheus. I don't mind it that much. Yeah. I realize I'm how done. fucking stupid it is, but. No, nah, I'm kind of done. Uh, there's done another story in the chat. Eric, I why don't... don't you read it? There's a story in the chat. Let's hear it. There better is. Not, it better not be that plastic surgery. I swear it to is. God. It is. Uh, Ew. Yeah. <laughs> I just read, I just read the fucking title and I'm already grossed out. This woman is fucking stupid. A lady that's, grew that's bone. That's search for beauty. Dumbasses. Beauty. I don't know. That's in the eye of the beer holder because this shit is weird. A lady well, grew that, bone that wasn't in her eyelids a. because of a dangerous new surgery. Yep. Okay. Oh, this picture is even ugly. Yeah. Eternal youth doesn't come cheap. No one knows this better than Los Angeles woman who underwent a non-FDA approved cosmetic eye surgery using stem cells. Unwanted side effects include pain, a clicking sound in her eyelid, a tiny castanet snapping shut. And last but certainly not least, spontaneous bone growth in the surrounding flesh. Gross. What the fuck? A she fairly shut her new eyes up with stem cells. Oh, God. Ugh. A fairly new procedure. The initial surgery was essentially a facelift using adult stem cells from the patient's abdominal fat. In this particular case, doctors injected the area around her eyes with mess and something cells, mm -hmm. which can turn into cartilage, fat, or unfortunately for her, bone. Yep. Ew! The surgery uses calcium hydroxy pity pat. It uses chemicals. Yep. Yeah, I don't do science <laughs> as a filler. And it's mineral that causes stem cells to turn to bones. Cosmetic procedures such as this one are becoming increasingly common. Why? They also don't require FDA approval, which means they go untested. Stem cells potentially incredibly exciting, but there hasn't been enough research for their effects to be fully understood, according to Paul, whoever, a cell biologist at the University of California, Davis. Blah, 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 blah. But why listen to that guy who knows what he's talking about? Right. Don't blah, blah, blah. That. Whatever. I got this doctor promising me prettier eyes. Because Trump don't, America. I don't understand. Got nothing to do with Trump America. I would never. That's like LA I America. I have a problem fucking, with like regular uh, surgery. Like any kind of surgery. Let alone an FDA. Uh, uh, one that's not FDA approved. And you're going to fucking do it with my eyes. Yep. Eyes. I need those you things. Only Wait, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I was half paying attention. Why did she do this? Oh, I don't know. Search for beauty, man. But, like, why? Like, I, don't what? Know, I don't know what plan A was. I mean, I'm sure there <laughs> was I'm sure there was one, but she Wait, didn't get there. Like, was she trying to change the color of her eye? <laughs> She's trying to install mechanical shutters on her eyeballs. So they snap shut. Like my yeah. mouse traps. Hmm. I don't, yes. don't understand. The next evolution. We can no. call this an evolution. Snappy eyes. Snappy or the eyes. evolution. <laughs> I just call it dumbass. Mm-hmm. Bones, <laughs> though. Bones in your eyes. Those eye things bones. you see with. <laughs> eye bones on bleak. Like, I'm sorry. I would, <laughs> you, you can't say surgery and my eyes and non-FDA approved. In the same no. sentence. No, you like, elective. You can't use all three of those, and let alone elective. not even two of those in a sentence. No, nah, no, nah, we're done. You know what? You know what? I like the eyeballs I have. I mean, I'm you know, mine are eye, right, but they're the only ones I got. Right, this is what I'm got. No, they're not, they're not it's this or nothing. They're not surgical. I don't Put treat the stem them. cells in when my eyeballs don't work. Then I will let you shoot my eyes up with stem cells. Well, when they don't work, then what have you got to lose? <laughs> right. What are you going to do? Break them more? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Like, I have some horns. But chill, bro. I have eye horns. Introduce this woman to the hey, Westboro Baptist Church. you got to be seen to get noticed. They'll be like, this woman is the devil. She got horns coming out of her eyes. She's the devil. Mm. Yeah, but as long as my eyes work, you get the fuck away from them. I knew the devil would come out of L.A. Uh, mm. I kind of get that. Um, mm. I'm starting to find some good news. <laughs> I uh, bet you fail. No good welcome news. Welcome to 2017. 
Season you five. Talk, you want to talk about Melania Trump? <laughs> no. She's funny. She's funny now. Yeah, she's funny now. <laughs> Just that one thing she did. She, she, she's like, you know, she's still, you know, married to this cunt. So whatever. But that was funny. I find no humor in any of it. <laughs> Look. That she, she publicly played her man two days in a row? Twice. Two, yeah. two times. And then that made him then try to show his dick with the other... Oh, him? With other world leaders? Because, you know, his no, wife no, shamed him. him. Why would he try to shove in front of other world leaders? And seriously, because, why? Because his wife is a bully. <laughs> Uh, oh shit oh god yeah that's the most fucking embarrassing thing bro not right. the most there are other very very, other embarrassing, very embarrassing things, things. but this Fuck. is pretty fucking embarrassing the fucking pope gosh oh the pope oh uh, did you did you hear about the the gift exchange i i, I, I started to vaguely read it. vaguely the, recall something about that I got right. to the part where Trump gave him first edition Martin Luther King books. All right, so here's the petty thing. All right, so, so uh, like Rob said, Trump gave the Pope. Uh, I don't know what the Pope gave him. I had. To I bet Martin reading. Luther King is doing great work right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he gave him. He gave him uh, Martin Luther King books. All right, that was his gift. <laughs> the Pope. <laughs> The Pope gave him a letter talking about climate change ah. that he wrote that he wrote a couple of years ago. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Come on, look at what we were talking about last week, that fucking seed bank flooding because the permafrost melted. And gee, this thing we built because we were worried about global warming wasn't prepared for global warming. Yeah. Yo, so, is it weird? Is it weird that even though I'm not Catholic, I would much rather have the Pope as president? Yeah, I would. No. <laughs> no, you yeah, wouldn't. Would. No, like, yeah, can, would. they, can they I switch? <laughs> Look into the laws in Italy. You know you don't. Because there's no freedom of speech, no nothing. Yeah, but he's not the law yeah, in Italy. Yeah, he's not the law in Italy. <laughs> he might as fucking well be. Yeah. You get thrown in prison for talking shit. Yeah. The bunch of comedians that happen to. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Well, we yeah, ain't right. that far off anyway. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> He's uh, only uh, been uh, there God about a hundred and some days. He's uh, already uh, firing people. But, but right, the thing people need to understand is, you can't stop people from speaking because you don't like what they're saying. The only thing protecting your freedom of speech is their freedom of speech. <laughs> That's it. If they don't have freedom of speech, you don't have freedom of speech. That's <laughs> And everybody don't have freedom of speech. That's hey. it. Either everybody has it or it's not real. Uh can we go to the, the other part of this Pope story that I that I kinda kinda giggle at? What's the All other right. part? Alright, so uh Sean Spicer. <laughs> like yeah, you heard about this? No, I just hate that guy. So every time I hear his fucking name, I'm like, Ugh. Uh, All right, well, you're going to love this story. So Sean Spicer is like a real devout Catholic, like straight up all in for for the Lord, for the Who's Catholic. house? God's house. Yeah, right. <laughs> so it, his, it was his dream, his absolute dream to meet the Pope. Like, this is the one thing that he wanted to do. This is probably the reason why he got that job that he has right now for the time being. <laughs> this is what he wants, right? Yes. Trump said, fuck that. Psych. <laughs> 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 Nigga, you thought. <laughs> well, fuck it. If we're going to talk about Trump, fuck that son of a bitch. Where? <laughs> Right. That fucking phone call to the goddamn um, leader in the Philippines <laughs> that's executing people left and right for uh -huh. smoking weed uh -huh. because it's so fucking horrible. Not only do you have to take people's life away and put them in cages and make them work slave labor, it's more horrible than that. You need to actually kill these people. Uh -huh. 
because they do things to themselves. Uh huh. So you have to kill them for it. And Trump is just, oh man, he's doing such a good job and the work he's doing. They uh-huh. got, we got that problem here. <laughs> fuck you. Yes, you fucking uh, orange. sucking fucking uh, orange faced fucking cunt. Uh, that I hated even, you for fucking two decades uh, that because I worst, knew you were a piece of shit. That wasn't even the worst part of that phone conversation. That he, it was to me. Yeah, he also, he also told uh, National Secrets to him too. I know that. I know that. I expect yeah. that from this retard. <laughs> yeah, again. Is it? I was going to say, is it not the first? Is, this isn't the first time he does that, right? Like, no, spill not. the beans? No, it's not. That's not. This is the guy we trust with the codes. Oh, yeah. God. That's why I... That's why I am. I just hope there's a backup plan among the Secret Service that if a president ever loses their shit and just crazily tries to fucking nuke somebody, that they take him out. Nope. Yeah, to dinner. Yeah. (sighs) So. Just shoot him. But then we get President Pence and Vice President Ron Paul. That's why I'm okay with that. I will be. be, See, we need a designated survivor moment. I will be. (laughs) See, I would be okay. No, nah, no, nah, because you go down that line, it, it doesn't get better. It gets worse I, and worse. Put all these motherfuckers worse. in one room and start from scratch. I would be, I would be okay with Pence. I am okay. The British hate, tried that. Look at it. I hate Pence. I hate Pence. I do. I really do. But I, I would be, I would sleep better knowing that he has the launch codes than Trump. I wouldn't. He's a religion, lo, religious lunatic. But that's I, the worst kind of lunatic, Jared. Historically yeah, speaking, but he's not going. Worse than an he's, not, he's not texting at three o'clock in the morning because he has a hissy fit. I would rather have that than somebody that you feels are, like they're right out, with God. You are out your mind. Because a man who feels like he's right with God can do anything. See, no. but. I think I think I'm with Jared on this one only because Pence, at least at the very least, despite I the fact that I hate his politics, yeah. is a politician. Yeah, is that, that that's makes it good. better? Yes, it does. Politicians are pieces of shit. Yeah, yeah they're, but, they're pieces but of shit. Some, but but he's not some random person off the street that's president right now. Right, he's not like I think he has a slightly more. Um, Trump's not conniving. He's just retarded, and an asshole. And you want him, and you want him to have the nuclear codes? That's better than somebody that's fucking. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's, <laughs> no, it's not. not. God damn it! There's, this is no win. No, no, it's not. No, there's no winning here. There's no. But, but <laughs> like I said, I was, we held off on talking about this for so long. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah we don't have to do that. I mean, we can. <laughs> the five. funny stories was funny. Now, now, now we're getting into the ugly shit. Don't nobody want ugly shit no more. <laughs> no, it's too much of it. It's too it's, fucking much, dude. I was sitting there watching the 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 education. I mean the um, the budget shit for all the cuts that they made to the education shit. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, the shit this woman is saying. Right. I call her Betsy Deville. How do you? How do you? Hold charter schools accountable. Well, they have a board. Fuck you. Wow. Stop double talking. Stop. Oh, it was just an endless runaround. There was no it, information. It absolutely was. She didn't say shit the whole time. <clears throat> Nothing. It was all double talking. Fuck you. Oh, man. This but it is was, important. It was, it was in the things that she did say, that she didn't say, that right. I had the problem. Like when she was asked, about what kind of discrimination would have to happen in order for the federal government to step in, like you know, against. I don't know. Maybe calling a kid a terrorist. She was like, um, "Well, you know, the states have power to." Uh, <laughs> no, bitch. That's the point. The that states wasn't are saying. The fucking question. The states are saying, "Oh, you can if you or anyone in your household is part of the LGBT whole thing." Well, you can't get, come to this school. So the lady asked, she was like, so what about if they say that, you know, they won't allow black people into the school? Will you step in then? She was like, well, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> oh eject, my god. Eject, eject. I was yo, I was fucking cringing, bro. But anyway, see, I can't get into this because I'm gonna start getting fucking pissed again. <laughs> Seriously, still trying to find some good news. As yeah, the it, drug war ratchets back up. Where is the good news, y'all? That's uh, we've tried. Uh, there is I'm a I'm a Google search good news. <laughs> It's going to come up with a picture of the Bible. Yeah. Yep, that's what I was just <laughs> beat me to it by five seconds. No. Uh, have you heard the good news? No, I fucking haven't. <laughs> a guy just a guy got pissed at me today because he was trying to sell me Spectrum, um, the new Time Warner cable thing. Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> he came, I was coming into the house, and my upstairs neighbor was outside talking to him. He was like, <laughs> He was like, are you guys in the same unit? I was like, nope. And I kept walking. And he's like, well, can I? T-? Nope. No, you can't. <laughs> nope. And he said he got such an attitude about that. I was like, nope. I don't stop for Jehovah's Witnesses. I ain't stopping for you either. Leave me the fuck alone. If I wanted to speak to you, I can find your number. Actually, yeah. Well, I, uh, there's an actual website called Good News Network. That <laughs> actually... Is it Christian run? That's what I'm. That's what I'm looking for. So far, I haven't seen anything Christian related. It just shame Matt wasn't here. All right, for uh, that Trump talk. Uh, okay, this it's is been raining all week. This is sliding on the. This could go bad, but let's let's kind of focus on the good side of this story. There's a good side of a story. That's that's what we're gonna go with then. Yeah, uh, Ariana Grande is going to have a uh, a benefit concert in Manchester. This mm. is the good news you could find. Yeah, we're fucked. What's wrong with that? <laughs> this world's going to hell in a handbasket. Fuck. <laughs> That's nothing news. Wait, what? That's nothing news. <laughs> Wait, her, her having a benefit concert for the victims? Because, you know, victims. Oh, 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 okay. I didn't realize. Okay. I misunderstood you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Who's the retard now? <laughs> See, that's why we don't want you in president. <laughs> what? Why would I be president? That's a horrible idea. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's not allowed. I hate politicians. That would be bad. Yeah, guess who also hates politicians? Psst. 45. Yeah, he's sort of acting like he hates politics. Uh, Obviously. Uh, all right, this is kind of adorable. Ish. Again, this is like. This is coming from Good News Network. I'm so mad at how hard it is to find good news. I know, right? This is so sad. In the chat. The world's not supposed to be how I think it is. It's not supposed to actually be that way. I'm supposed to be paranoid and crazy. Well, so, they are both. You are paranoid and crazy, and the world is how you think it is. So apparently there's a video attached to this, but... Uh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Zayden Carter was diagnosed with a... Congen- Congenital, Congenital heart Congenitals. disease when he was just two He's days old. Heart disease. Uh, his condition, however, has never kept him from dreaming big. Uh, Zayden expressed his parents expressed to his parents that he wanted to go to Saturn and see some little green aliens. His parents then got in touch with the Make a Wish Foundation in really? Georgia, and they tried to make his wish come true. The foundation organized a special trip through space. And for the first time ever, use virtual reality to make a wish come true. Hmm. And there is video of this young boy 
shouldn't they have, like, given him a VR headset? Because they could have done that at his house, and he could have done other shit with it, too. <laughs> yeah, okay. like, porn. Okay. All right. Why not? <laughs> Kid ain't got long. Fucking, yeah, bust it out. Yeah, it's congenital. Rock out with your cock look, out. I, with look, your congenitals. Look, look, this is terrible. This is terrible for me to say. But, but I'm going to say it anyway. If they did give him the VR... How long hmm. would he have it for? Yeah, that's a good matter. point. That's a good point. VR, he could just VR, live in VR for the rest of his life. Yeah, which is maybe a couple weeks. Well, mm. oh yeah, that would man. Make that a couple weeks better. <laughs> he can do all the dumb shit he wanted to do. That would be more on hold. I'm, 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 I'm just mad at his parents for naming this little boy Zayden. Leave little Zayden Smith alone. Zayden, the <laughs> fuck is a Zayden? It's a, it's about as a, it's like as a sir. It's probably the combination of both parents' names. Don't like it. Oh. People have to be unique. But it's cute that they did that though. That's cute that he got to see the planets and shit. <laughs> hey. Qué lindo. Go for you. Galindo, I like it. Yeah. Was that your mom you were impersonating? <laughs> uh, a little bit. <laughs> okay, because that sounded a little bit too rehearsed. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that was a practice one. Galindo. Uh, I want a good laugh. If Forbes has a six ways to use, you can use your podcast powers for good. I only like <laughs> obviously. Uh, Nick's story. Nick's <laughs> story. <laughs> Good for you. Nick's story. Fidget. Story. Glad to hear it. We've never go, done anything with this podcast, and we're not about to start. <laughs> hey, go start doing things. Uh, people expect things. Fuck that. Uh, so I've seen the story. You, I, I, somebody's gonna have to read this because I don't understand this. Where is is it in the in the in the chat? In the chat, right now. Check now. Now, okay. <laughs> click, bitch, click. Meh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so who's reading uh, it? Me? Yeah, sure. Okay, where where does it start? This is weird. Yeah, I know, right? Um okay, yeah, it's I guess here. Students and organizations throughout the area have been collecting food for various reasons for those in need. For students in New Berlin Elementary School, their goal was to help West Mims fire crew who are out in the heat battling fires all day and night. The donated items which have been delivered to the workers included 60 cases of water, 8 cases of Gatorade, and at least one truckload of snacks and $60 in cash to be used to purchase bug spray. What was that? Was that a bong hit or something? No. Similar. No. (laughs) No. Oh, Oh, yeah, you wasn't here for season two. I was not here for. I was here for one part of season two. Yeah, Rob. Rob is vaping now. <gasps> yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, I quit smoking. So vapist. There's that. <laughs> but I'm doing it my way. Super cheap. I make my own shit. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? Just me. You know what? For season five, I'm making this a new thing now. For season five, we have to find good news items. From here on (laughs) on out, I want a good news item. Like we can still go over the weird and crazy shit, but I want a good news item because I'm so saddened by the fact that this goal will not be met. (laughs) No, you know what? You know why? Because it is. I can't believe how hard it is to find some good news. 
Yo, yeah, because, man. like, that ass, I'm not even going to front. Like, I was reading this story about these kids doing this nice shit for these fucking firefighters in the heat and whatever. But I'm like, Flynn so, still don't got clean water. <laughs> right. That's like, I mean, <laughs> yes. I can't even yes. read a good story without thinking about bad shit. Yes, Erica. Fuck those kids. <laughs> That was my opinion before this story, and it's going to be my opinion after this story. <laughs> Fuck those sorry. kids. I'm sorry, but... Give a I shit about those kids. I started reading this, I'm like, oh, that's nice, but... I got, like, maybe a dozen kids that I really care about, and that's it. Yeah, that's, I got, all I got, you got, that's all I got room for. Less than that, but, yeah. <laughs> well, well you a, third know, of them, a third of them came out of my nuts. So. I was saying, a, a good amount of those probably belong to you. <laughs> well, I mean... This is Victorian era. They're not my property, Erica. Uh-huh. Well, they sort of are, kind of. No, no, they're not. <laughs> the <laughs> law is very clear. <laughs> I guess. Uh, uh, well, speaking of Flint. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Thought he was gonna, gonna go with the good news. <laughs> actually, actually, yeah. <coughs> You're still on the good news items. Okay. So that was in the chat. silence. In the chat. Oh, it's like we're we're gonna do good items. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right, though. Okay, she pretty. What happened here? What she do? What she do? Black-owned construction firm will replace eighteen thousand contaminated water pipes in Flint. Fucking A, man. How has this not been funded yet? Because? How are fucking anybody in the government getting health care and this is not funded? Because? This should have been ripped out when the lead lining was exposed and we need steps in place to get rid of the rest of it. Because of the goddamn lead lobbyist in the 70s that talked the government into using all this fucking garbage piping. Because it was cheaper, and it would save money, not that they were selling a fuck ton of lead. No, no. In the, in the darkies. No, we don't <sighs> care Jesus about them. <laughs> no, this affects everybody, Jared. <laughs> there is so much lead line piping in the United States, it is ridiculous. Uh, it is this, everywhere. That, Even in uh, the quote-unquote better neighborhoods, there's lead March, lined water mains. In March 2017, a... 97 million settlement from both state and federal funds was approved by a federal legislature mandating that thousands of pipes be replaced. Additionally, the state of Michigan has committed this is coming from black activity. Uh, additionally, the state of Michigan has committed to reserving an additional 10 million in cases the job requires it. In case the job requires it. W.T. Stevens was funded by the late black entrepreneur W.T. Stevens back in the 1990s. His daughter, Rhonda Gayer, Grayer, now serves as vice president of the company and works along with her husband, Jeff Grayer, who serves as the project manager. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> so... So somebody just said, you know what? Fuck it. I replace it myself. Okay. Yeah. But that's what's got to happen. Because obviously nobody else gives a fuck. They should. Because it's their pipes too, you dumb fucks. No. Stupid sons of bitches shooting yourselves in the foot to save a fucking dollar. Fuck you. Yep. So that was the good news. <laughs> Do I have an... Wait, there was another house. Uh, Rob ran into a rant and I forgot. There was another. There was another... I think it was a good news item. Uh, that related... Oh, no. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a good news. It wasn't good news. Okay. Glad we cleared that up. Uh, Erica, what the fuck is he talking about? Good news, man. Good <laughs> fucking news. I got it is a good news item in the chat. Uh, 
Yep. R. Smith pretty much go anywhere he wants. He got 33 offers uh, you for so college. Um, mostly, not only football scholarships, but also academic scholarships because he has a okay. 4.43 GPA. So he got Damn. 33 full ride offers to college and eight of them were Ivy League schools. Damn. This boy fly. Good for him. This boy is doing it. Oh, did you hear about the uh, the brothers? The brothers? Were they happy yeah. and they're singing and they're colored? Yeah. Where, are, where, are, where art thou? <laughs> Give me a high five. <laughs> so, what are the brothers? Uh, so there was like uh, quintuplets. Or oh, something. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they were like quintuplets or some shit like that. There was a lot of them. And they was accepted to four or five Ivy League schools. Damn. Yeah, I saw that. That was fly. That was fly. I love how there's like mad people getting into Ivy League schools now. That's dope. Well, not mad people. That's bullshit. But, you know, a few of them getting in and, you know, they putting them on TV. And they, they decided to go to Yale. All of them are going to Yale? All of them is going to Yale. They must get along. I'd been like, which one are you going to? Good, that's out. Man, if I was a fucking quintuplet. And I'd be a, off on my own as soon as possible. Yeah. For real. <laughs> be like, unattach me from these fucking people. I'm out. I gotta have my life. <laughs> but you can still have your life. Not our life. You know how hard it is to keep four separate individuals who are going to have relationships up to the same level as everybody else? No. Because you know two of them are going to do way better than the rest. I mean, maybe. Nah, statistically. They're not that kind of family. Statistically, for some reason, just... Sounds like testicles. It always has, you just never noticed. Yes, that is true. It's the testicles. It's the testicle. That's the one that gets you pregnant. You people are dumb. (laughs) Don't say. (laughs) Oh, really? I hadn't noticed. That's because we're dumb. (laughs) Well, no, that's why I say I'm intelligent, not smart. I'm none of the above. I can figure things out, but I'm not smart. I am not quite proud of it, but it's the fact. It it, it is what it is. There's no change at this point. I'm not going to shoot stem cells in my brain to try to get smarter. I don't need brain bones. I got a raging brainer. You got got eye bones, though. (laughs) I don't want eye bones. (laughs) I want OEM eye equipment. <laughs> OEM? I want, I, I want VIN specific parts. Oh, God. <laughs> Talking all that man talk over there. T- sure. I, I just, I almost, I almost heard in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody can learn engineering. <laughs> yeah. I you guess. don't have to be a man. <laughs> I guess. And the engineering end of the would be the side to come in on, because then you're not competing, you know, physically. You oh, so really you say women can't quickly. be strong enough? You saying women ain't strong enough? I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm I know not, a lot of women having... that are actually strong enough. <laughs> I'm not but having that conversation. That's not the majority. I'm sorry. <laughs> <about it. laughs> yeah. There's some beast. There's some beast out there. There really are. Those women, you know, those are the exceptional. Listen, there's a there's a fucking around the area that I work, they're doing a lot of construction. And uh-huh. there's always, you know, like, fucking all kinds of people back there doing, you know, what people do when they build buildings. And um, a good <laughs> number... Of, yeah, but it's not only just construction. Well, yeah, there's so many aspects to construction. Right. So there's, like, a lot of different people doing a lot of different things. But I'm, like, always surprised by how many women come out at the same time. Like, 
like you know, the one of the boys type women, and they're out there and with their fucking dirty ass clothes and talking all that shit that they talk, you know. Yeah. And but there's also a few like dainty prissy types, and I'm like, yo, <laughs> that just seems off, don't it? It just it does, but they're all you know. They well, fill up the bus. There's something they can do. They fill up the bus, and it needs to be done. So, yeah. I mean, you're not if you're a little you know feminine woman, then you're not going to be able to lift bags of concrete and carry them and compete with another dude who'll do it for nine bucks an hour. You know, you just there's no competition there. Any employer pretty much has to go with the fucking dude who could pick up two of these fucking things and haul them over. Mm. But there's loads of jobs that can, need to be done. There's, we need everybody. <laughs> we need all fucking types. All hands on deck. Right. Everybody has a. There's something amazing that you can do. I don't care what kind of person you are. There's one amazing thing that you can do that just nobody can do it better. Okay. I mean, you know, that's cool that you believe that. I like that. <laughs> I like your optimism. Even the stupidest person has something amazing they can do, even if they don't know what it is. I'll have to take your word for it. Um, cause it may not be something useful in your case, but you know your results may vary. Word, word, results may vary. I like, <laughs> I like that. I like that disclaimer. It helps. It helps. But like the guys that work in the office at my shop. I couldn't eff effectively do what they do. There's no fucking way. But they couldn't come out and effectively do my job. This We're is different true. types of people. This is <laughs> true. This is true. But I couldn't do my job without them up there doing taking care of the bookwork. Keeping Work. all that no, shit straight. Everybody, everybody, everybody got their thing. Everybody got right. their thing or whatever. That's cool. I technically have no idea what you're talking about. But I know Humanity, Rob is Jared. wrong. I know Rob is wrong. <laughs> oh, so you're saying that some people just don't fit anywhere. Fuck you. Yo. So check this out. I, you guys know that I like to play Exploding Kittens, right? No. no I Did I, I ever mention aware. that? Okay. No. So the card game Exploding Kittens. I've heard of it. It's It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. So I play it, right? But and we also just got this this little thing called Bean Boozled. Have you guys ever heard of that? Yes. No. Have you played it? Yes. Is it disgusting? Yes. What flavors have you had? I had booger. I had, <laughs> I had uh, dog food. Oh. <laughs> I had... What was it? Oh god, what was it? There's stinky socks, moldy cheese, moldy rotten cheese. egg. No. Yeah, there's some really nasty flavors. But my point of bringing up that story about the exploding kittens, well, it wasn't a story, it was a statement. But right. So my Clarity husband and I, it. huh? <laughs> Clarity, damn it. <laughs> so my husband and I decided that as uh, whoever lost the game would have to take a spin at the bean boozle wheel. And basically, oh God. you spin the wheel, and Jelly Belly makes these flavors that are um, pretty weird. So the flavor, uh, you spin the wheel, and if it lands on one of, on like, the white jelly bean, the white jelly bean could be coconut, or it could be rotten milk. It could mm -hmm. land on pink, and it's tutti frutti or stinky sock. You know, so it it depends on which one it is. And so we started playing where loser has to take a spin at the wheel and he always got all the bad ones. Have you guys you guys have got to find a way to try these jelly beans. They are the most disgusting no. thing no, on you don't. the planet. We don't have Stinky to do that. Sock. Solid, Erica. We don't have to do that. No, but it's funny though. Okay. No, it's not. So if you let somebody <laughs> else do it, it's funny. Yes, yeah, it's funny to see somebody do it. Yeah, no, but I did it too. I took videos of them, like uh -huh. while we were doing it, and since I, my phone got fucked up, I lost all those videos. Oh, uh -huh. I know, man. It's fucking sad. Except like one quick clip 
where my it's my little she's she's actually my cousin but she's like my niece so she calls me titi and so we're playing this game and she's eating the jelly beans like it's fucking nothing and she got booger and she was like mmm boogers is delicious oh uh, yes yeah. So Better. I got that I got that on video where I was making fun of when she said it the first time because I got booger and I was like, mmm, boogers. And she said, see, I told you boogers is delicious. You got no, you gotta you gotta disown her. She's gonna do something evil. She, I know. She was eating all those jelly beans, like and mind you, this is us grown adults and we're like fucking bleh, yeah. <laughs> gagging everywhere. And she's like this one is only a little bit good, and that's like rotten cheese. I'm like, yes. girl, this girl has a stomach of steel and like gross. Yeah. But that, titanium. Yes, that that game is gross, but it's a lot of fun, especially as a um, as a punishment. Yeah, yeah, I will give it to that. that that's the is, only way it makes sense. Yeah, using it as a punishment. Yeah. Yeah. Playing that just as a game, I uh, might not be so fun. Yeah, people do that, but yeah, as a punishment, it works really well. Mm. Good for you. Yeah, so that was a fun. That was fun for us. Even though I lost all my fucking videos and I lost everything since from now, from now to to October 2016. Damn. <sighs> yeah. Do you have a backup? Well, no. You, know, you gotta give yourself a backup. You better get that. You better use that Google Plus. I mean, not Plus. Uh, Google Drive. Yeah. Yeah, all mine is full. Right. That's why. That's why you start another uh, Google account. That one's full too. <laughs> <laughs> Bend down this road. <laughs> I I do I do, I do have two, and then I have another extra two gigs on two drop boxes. But yeah, I gotta clean those out because obviously I'm not backing uh, my shit up. And here I am with hard drives full of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, well, the, I did save a few things because at some point I just emptied everything out that was on my phone. To a look, pick if the fall. bombs if the bombs fall, I need to have my memes. Yeah, oh, that was the part that was the most devastating. Yes, losing the videos and all the pictures and all the memories sucked. But, bro, losing my reacts pissed me off. Oh, my, oh yeah. My reaction gifts and photos, like, I had a folder dedicated just to that, and it was my pride and joy. See, that's why you don't put it on your phone. And they're gone. But I don't use my computer for nothing but, like, for shooing. Huh. So I haven't used my computer in ages. I know. I know, but... <laughs> right? <laughs> see, see, but the thing is, that's why I use the, the, the drives and shit. You gotta have a specific folder to put them there just in case shit like that happens. Well, lesson fucking learned because... Yeah. There's this one that is... You know who Countess Vaughn is? Hmm. Countess Vaughn so. was oh gosh, what is her name? You remember Meet the uh the Parkers? Where uh fucking Wait, you talking about that white girl with the fat ass? No, no, she's not white. Um fuck, what is this woman's name? The 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 girl Damn, yeah. she's in an open relationship, Monique. Monique. Monique had a show in the nineties. Um she mm -hmm. had a daughter who right. was Brandy's uh, best friend. Oh, the right. daughter. Okay. Yeah, that's Countess Vaughn, right? Oh. So it was her face. Her, what? Monique's daughter is Countess Vaughn? <laughs> no, no, on the show. On the oh. Parkers. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought her name was like Countess or some shit. No, no, no. It was on the show. But her name is Countess. Um, they. Um, it was her face superimposed on, um, you know that Solange picture with the clips on her hair? Y'all not gonna understand, and guess what? I can't show it to you because it's gone. So yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> exactly, but if when you still see had, it, if she still had it, but when you see it, you know that it's very much a reaction. If you still that had it, we wouldn't, be, we wouldn't even be talking about it, right? Where? But it's gone. It's 
all gone. Wait, 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 wait. Describe it one more time. Okay. So, it's <laughs> the face of Countess Vaughn. Okay. With the hair of Salon, that Solange um, picture that she has the waves with the clips on it. Right. So, it's that, but she, so, um, Countess has like this, this, what? Face? Let me see. Let me see if I can find at least the. Oh, she looks, her on her own. Oh, she looks so scary. Yeah, but it was a, it was such a good fucking reaction for me. And oh, and oh my. Oh, oh, oh. What you oh Hold on. There you go. Check the check. Check check. <laughs> I don't know if she's crying or laughing. I'm crying. I'm so happy. <laughs> Jared's like, my memes never did that. I'm so happy. My meme gave strong. You better save it before you forget. <laughs> How did also, you... Also, uh... You search for it. What I, what I learned... No, no, actually, it was kind of hard. I uh, was going to say, how would you search for that? Because I tried. Uh, well, I just Google search Countess, Countess Vaughn memes. Um, also, what would actually help you... What help me, me a lot... Uh, get a good friend, a very good friend that you like on Facebook and just start sending memes to them just because to just to hold it. Yep. Me and me and Matt, <laughs> me and Matt yeah. has, <laughs> we call ours. The I actually, Matt ball. I had a picture of a windmill that was in my grandmother's garden and the fucking blades had fallen off of it and the oh. ivy was growing up and it looked like a Dalek. I right. took a picture of it. This was several years ago, and I could not find that picture on my computer anywhere, and I needed it because of this one thread. So I went back and searched through all my fucking pictures. Right. Found those bitches. <laughs> wow. So that is a good backup. Also, also, you can send it to yourself. Well, that's yep. that's what I was gonna say. I don't. I, I ain't got no like. I'm constantly friends sending that I have Kristen that are that, stuff. that are that you know. See, cool with see, me I, just sending them random shit. I would send it uh, like I, I do that sometimes. I would send it to myself on Facebook, but I would be cautious about that because how Facebook is, I don't know when they're gonna be like, "Yeah, you can't do this anymore." Yeah, so uh, me, I send it from from Erica Lil Funyuns to Erica Lil Funyuns Wise. Oh, there you go. Right there, you go. There's two me, of us. Me, I just straight send it to myself. I send it. I, I'm able to message myself so. Yeah, I send it to myself separately. To my yeah, other it. self. I send it to Krista. <laughs> I, f- I, forgot, I forgot about my other Facebook account. Yeah, I can start doing that. Yeah. Two-timing us? He two-timing himself. Congratulations. Man, I'm so happy. You know, this face right here is representative of what I look like when I'm reading shit on the internet. <laughs> you got resting what the fuck face this is what that is my face no, that's internet face the features are different but that is my face hand and everything like Jared you've seen me IRL you know that I you know that oh, that yeah. could be me <laughs> oh no oh no no that that's all of us yes, yes. we are countess we are. Bum, 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 bum. You know what? With that, we're going to end this episode of the Quote Unquote Show. <laughs> First episode I, of season five, y'all. Welcome. Season five. Whoop, de, whoop. <laughs> I've noticed that we've been on for two hours. <laughs> Next time Eric is on, it's going to be so. It's been season seven for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so tune in next week for season seven. <laughs> <laughs> we're completely skipping six. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
So tune in next week for season six and seven. If it's funny, <laughs> if it's, if it's funny enough, yeah. Or dumb enough. Yeah. There's two qualifiers. <laughs> two something qualifiers. You, know. uh, you can find us on the social medias. Uh, Facebook, uh, the quote-unquote shoe. It's a close group. You've got to search I'm going to be taking the Twitter back over. you taking the Twitter back over? Yeah. All right, so cool. That, so that something's going on with it. No. Okay. So... Uh, so for the last time because I got a message from Twitter saying you have not been on for seven weeks it's like oh okay I probably should do something about that (laughs) so for the last time you can hear me say uh, the Twitter, Tumblr uh, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram all run by the lovely Megan for the last time (laughs) Uh, you can yeah, you find us Facebook group, quote unquote shoe, close group, just gotta search for it. You can find uh two two thirds of us on the Refugees of Spill Facebook group. Fractions also, are hard. Also a closed group. Uh just search for it. You can find us on the quote unquote shoe tube on YouTube. I swear I swear there will be other content other than you're the show. You're making owner. so much other content and you're not fucking using it. I'm making one other content and Facebook is not allowing me to save that content. But it's weekly. Yeah, it is. Mm. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do next week. Ah. Anyway. That's YouTube gold that you're just yeah, down the toilet. Yeah, but it's like uh, we we'll, we we'll discuss this later. Uh, quote unquote YouTube, the Facebook groups, the social medias. Uh, place else? Oh, SoundCloud and iTunes. Yeah. yeah, check us out on SoundCloud as long as our episodes don't go as long as this one did. So last week's will be gone. <laughs> I mean, and I mean, if in all knowledge, you can somebody say, wanted Netflix. <laughs> Man, you can you can find next week's episode. You can find last week's episode on uh, the quote unquote shoot YouTube, YouTube. On YouTube. There you go. And <laughs> I'm gonna start. I gotta get a jump on it, but I've been working on James's N64. But as soon as I'm done with that, I'm gonna start uploading the back catalog to Mega. All right. For so direct can, download. So you can find this on Mega, or you can find. What you can't you find this on Mega yet. <laughs> <laughs> you can find. Uh, Past episodes, up to, uh, the earliest is 80-something. Mega! Yeah, we're in the 80s on the, the yeah, YouTube. I think it's 88. Yeah, totally 80s. The 80s. Yeah, look, to be all, in all honesty, that's as far back as we should go with these shows. I don't know. <laughs> There's one oh, yeah. show for yeah. everybody. Oh, yeah, There's 40. one show that's the funniest fucking thing you've ever heard. Yeah. And I don't know which one that is. That's up to you. So you know Matt what? isn't here, but just for the for the sake of it, just to put it out there. 40. 40. 40. 40. Uh, you know Pornography. What? You know what? <laughs> as, a re- as a request, Rob, I think me, you, Erica, and Matt, which we already know Matt's episode. Me, you, Erica, Matt, and Rob, we should all pick we should a do favorite. a playlist. That we should all pick a favorite episode. We should make a playlist. We should pick a, yeah, make a playlist of, Thank our, you. <laughs> of our favorite episodes and upload it to the YouTube. Top three. There'd be five of us. Yeah. A lot of that's episodes 15, to look that's through. That's 15 episodes total, and uh, duplicates wait, wait. are allowed. Hey, 15 episodes. What? If there's five of us, and we're making a top three, that's three times I was, I was just going to just say, pick a episode, and we make that the playlist. Oh. Well, I mean, well, I guess if you have, if you have <laughs> more than one phase, then I guess you can use it. But you but know. do but do we all have more than one phase? Oh yeah. I mean, I got one. I got one, and this twenty. I fucking love that episode. <sighs> <laughs> I fucking love it. Which one is twenty? I'm, I'm not even. On That's that the one episode. where you and me flounder for twenty minutes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I fucking love that episode. Oh my god! I love it. Why? <laughs> because it's just y'all too. Is it's, it? I'll, 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 I said it. I know this is like repeating from other episodes, but it's like it, I, I compare it to 
when you meet you're your, somebody else's wife and he's yeah. left to the store. Yeah, you meet you you're left with somebody else's significant other, oh. and y'all and y'all just waiting for that other person to come, <laughs> <laughs> and y'all. And y'all kind of making, y'all like really making an effort to get to know yeah. each other. <laughs> what do you mean? I see what you mean. But y'all, but it, when it's starting to actually become something, y'all stop it. <laughs> <laughs> because you're waiting for somebody else to come. Oh, shit. Like y'all start, y'all about to have this great conversation, but you end it. <laughs> Because you're waiting for someone to come. <laughs> I fucking love that episode. Oh man, my that favorite was, episode. I got, I gotta listen to that one again. I don't. I oh, don't it's even, interesting. It's I don't interesting. even think I'm in it. <laughs> you're not. You are later on. Oh, I am. Yeah, because I know y'all was waiting for me, but I don't know if I eventually came. <laughs> but uh, several people eventually came on. Ah, uh, it was so. Them. It was so funny. <laughs> Because it's straight up, yeah, for 30 minutes. Is any, should we start the show or should we... You want to take a break? <laughs> you want to take a break? Oh, what about this thing? <laughs> yeah, what about this? You know what, let's just take a break. <laughs> oh, man, that was great. That was oh, I love it. And that's I why I uploaded it just like that, because it was too funny. Yeah, I, didn't, I swear I didn't think you were going to do that. <laughs> Yeah, you said so the following week. I didn't realize you were going to put that bullshit up there. I love, I love the preview to it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the preview to it? I don't know if I've seen that. It's, it's, I got to uh, I got to find the episode with Bompton Bear. <laughs> oh, fuck. That one was a good one. Fucking Bompton Bear. Bompton that's got to be that's got to be around 46ish. Bompton Bear, the uh the because, super fight, the super yeah. fight with the stupid owl. Yeah, yep. those. I mean, some. I know oh, we yeah. just really to stupid. Fight. Just yeah. dumb owl. Well, I'm gonna count on dumb luck. <laughs> Fucking Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, too stupid to realize that this isn't gonna work. So that gives me an advantage. Uh, you, you know what? It has been a while since we did a gaming episode. We need to do that. Those, it has. That was fun. <laughs> we need to it do has. a gaming. We, need, we have to do a gaming episode soon. I think all that ended because of the extra dice. Oh, yeah, we haven't even did, yeah, yeah. We haven't had enough people on the head. Well, we can try for that next time. Yeah, for now. Fun. That would be fun. I've got to go pack a bag. <laughs> I've got a weekend, get, weekend trip. I have to get some sleep because I'm going to be at work at six. Oh, shit. Well, you should sleep. Hey, oh. at least you're already in bed. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> At least it's not cold out. Yeah, I'm in my car. Well, <laughs> I'm going to be in my car soon. <laughs> yeah, man. Yep. Yeah, man. All right, y'all. Tis been grand. All right, now, Thanks y'all. for the warm welcome back. <laughs> Skipped an entire season. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed. I know. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. I know. And so you wouldn't be the first. <laughs> <laughs> and the streak continues. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all get the fuck out of my ear. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Bye. <laughs>